What are we going to do with that a Pro Bowl weekend? That's the main problem of the day. Like, what am I going to do on Pro Bowl week? Like, just going to sit on my couch and not watch the Pro Bowl? I'm joking. No one misses the Pro Bowl. It's just a whole, you make the team, you make the game or whatever, and you get that next to your name. Like, the players care about the name, like, all pro or whatever it is next to their name. But they don't care about the Pro Bowl. No one really cares about the Pro Bowl. Why don't we do something fun for an NFL All-Star game? You know what? Let's get into talking about that now. Like, let's just throw out some ideas of what the NFL could do instead of the Pro Bowl because there's lots of different things. Like, they got the skills competition. Well, every league has that. And, like, you never really tune in on time. Like, I just see the highlights on Instagram and stuff. I've never sat down and like looked at my guide or whatever and been like oh the NFL skills competition is on I guess that's just because I'm not looking at my TV at the time that it's on or it's not like I ever schedule myself it's not like my friends hit me up and they're like hey Noah do you want to go uh do you want to go get McDonald's or something do you want to go I don't know we can't do anything because of COVID right now but they're just like Noah do you want to go hang out and I I don't think I've ever once said you know, no, I want to I want to watch the Pro Bowl skills competition instead. It's just something that doesn't happen. It's just uh, we got to find something better. We just have to. And that's what we're going to do today. That's what we're going to do today right now. Before I start talking about this championship weekend, we are going to solve the Pro Bowl. The end all question of how can. We solved the NFL Pro Bowl, and there's lots of solutions that could be thrown out there. One, why don't we just do a, what would be something that would be exciting? Why don't we do a a dodgeball tournament? Nope, they already do that in a skills competition, Noah. Can't do that. Cannot do that. Got to think of something new. Got to think of something fresh. Got to think of something That will make you tell your friends, no, today I am watching the Pro Bowl and I'm not going to go out with you guys. You're more than welcome to come to my house. I'll order a pizza. We can watch the Pro Bowl together and have a good time. Or you guys could go without me and I will have the time of my life watching the Pro Bowl by myself. How can we do that? Think of how America will change if we're just able to change the Pro Bowl. It would be like, it would be like all the world issues will go away if just for one Sunday every season we can watch the premier players in the NFL come together and everyone in the world come together to watch the most premier players and the best players in the NFL not playing in the Super Bowl do something, something that's not the Pro Bowl. Why don't we have all the Pro Bowl players do one of those lumberjack challenges. Wouldn't you love to see like Aaron Donald try to climb a tree or like those big offensive linemen have to ax a tree down and then stick the wood in it and climb up the tree? Wouldn't that be awesome? Or like, I feel like they're, like those heavy weightlifting things where like you have the world's strongest men competition and they carry those massive stone balls like those massive ones that I have to put it up on the platform. What if we do something just completely out of the blue, like a rodeo, NFL Pro Bowl rodeo? Can you imagine guys like Lamar Jackson, Aaron Rodgers, Khalil Mack, Juju Smith-Schuster? Why don't we just have a TikTok off? Why don't we just get them all together together? We'll have an all-pro house. We'll make a completely new TikTok house called the all-pro house or the Pro Bowl house. And we just leave them there in a whole weekend. And they go out and make TikToks for the whole weekend and see whose video or who gets the most followers. Because, oh boy, like you'd have Juju, you'd have Chase Claypool, you'd have Odell, you'd have all those other guys. That would be insane. I feel like that would give you way better competition than the Pro Bowl would. Guaranteed. You have guys dancing for the world to see for a whole weekend on TikTok and competing against each other. You think that they go hard on the football field. Wait till you see these guys on social media. Like, holy, if we get Juju versus Odell in a TikTok off, 
I think the world just might explode. They might have to delete the app after it. Yeah, I don't know if it would hold that many people. I honestly don't. So what do we got so far? We got Lumberjack Games, and we got the TikTok House. What else should we go for? How to solve the Pro Bowl. How to solve the Pro Bowl. Why don't we have them... Have them do one of those, like... They have to do, like, a Property Brothers and, like, remodel a house. Wouldn't you love to just turn on a Property Brothers for one Sunday and be like, Hey, it's not the it's not the twin brothers. It's... It's Jared Goff. And it's... Dalvin Cook. What? Building a house together. What? what why are they doing that? Why are they building a house? You know what? This is better than the Pro Bowl. You could watch players remodel a house and then sell it to someone on HGTV. How unbelievable would that be? Now, that would be something. That would be something. And that's that's fun for the whole family. You ever want your wife or your kids or your girlfriend or whoever to watch the Pro Bowl or watch football with you? Just turn on the Pro Bowl HGTV. It's fun for the whole family. Fun for the whole family. I'm telling you, I'm supposed to be talking about championship weekend right now, but I'm talking about how to solve the Pro Bowl. How are we going to solve the Pro Bowl? Tons of different things. I'm just spitfiring. Why don't we do something with Nick? Because they decided to they decided to do the Bears playoff game and ruin it by putting slime everywhere. Why don't we do something with that? Who can create the best plot for a Spongebob video or episode or whatever you want to call it? It's got to be something better than the Pro Bowl. I like the TikTok house idea. I feel like you might get some of the best competition you've ever seen there. And we have like some massive prize at the end. Like the winner gets a $500 million contract to wherever they want to go. Like, if you have guys who are dying to get out of a place because they're locked in some contract and they could just pick wherever they want to go, like, how awesome would that be? Because these guys make enough money. Like, they don't really need money. They need something that's valuable. Or even, like, whoever could make the most popular song in a weekend. I think that that would do really well. Is there any NFL players who rap or have, like, a SoundCloud or something? I know... Damian Lillard does for the NBA. I know Marcus Stroman does MLB. I don't know, man. Or, or, or. Who's played basketball? Basketball and hockey. And I don't think that football players and hockey players are compatible. Like, I don't think football players could just go pick up a a hockey stick and skates and start playing. But let's say... Pro Bowl, like, the Pro Bowl and the NBA All-Star game gotta be somewhere around the same date. Like, why don't we do NFL All-Stars versus NBA All-Stars? You do one basketball game and one football game. How about that? How about that? Wouldn't that be something? You finally get to hear about all these guys who were star high school basketball players in football or vice versa like you have guys like LeBron who apparently was some five-star high school football athlete you get to see them on the field that they're always compared to the field that they're always talked about go up against a complete other sport like that would be that would be entertaining or you take the worst team in the league so let's say this year it would be Jacksonville Jaguars versus NFL All-Stars I mean NBA All-Stars in football and then you go NFL All-Stars in basketball against who's a crappy team in the NBA right now. I know the Raptors are playing pretty bad. The Raptors are not playing well at all, but they're not the worst team in the league. It has to be because the Knicks, the Knicks aren't. I think they're in a playoff spot right now, if I'm being honest. I think the Knicks are in a playoff spot. The Pistons, I should have guessed that. The Pistons suck. And the Timberwolves, but the Pistons are the worst team in the league right now. So you take... The Pistons play the NFL All-Stars in basketball, and then you have the Jaguars versus the NBA All-Stars in football. And let's see, whoever takes two out of those 
gets bragging rights or they get to make their own like imagine if after the NFL season was over you have like a group of guys who like make the NFL all-star basketball team and like they actually play in the NBA I wonder how that team would do I wonder how a team with the best basketball playing football players would do in the NBA because I, I think that they'd win a couple games. Like, I don't think that this team would be shut out. Like, you've got some freak of nature athletes in the NFL, and I know you do in the NBA, but these guys, I swear, could hold up against some teams in basketball. Like, these guys, a bunch of guys have courts in their backyard and everything like that. Like, you saw when Cam Newton signs to the Patriots, he's playing basketball with who was it? He was playing basketball with was it Todd Gurley? No, it was I know Quavo was there. Maybe Todd Gurley was there. I can't remember. Was it Todd? I feel like it was someone. I can't remember if it was Todd Gurley or not. I feel like it was Todd Gurley, but I also feel like it wasn't Todd Gurley. Interesting conversation, but I have no idea where this has led us. I think we've just made a whole clip of just talking about how to save the Pro Bowl because of something that I decided to do at 1.34 in the morning. You know what I was doing yesterday at 1.34 in the morning? I ordered myself a pizza from Domino's, and I ate it, and it was delicious. I tried to do a—I did a Dave Portnoy pizza review. I love watching those, man. Barstool Podcast, spot on, spot on. And those pizza reviews, man, I could watch those for days. I think— that's what got me so hungry. I was watching Dave Portnoy pizza reviews, and I was like, you know what? I'm starving. Domino's closes in half an hour. You know what? We could squeeze it in. Let's go get an order, and let's go pick up a pizza. It's going to be a good time, and it was. I had an amazing time. What a Friday night for me during COVID lockdown. Nothing we could do. Nothing we could do.